Today, we will talk about how to identify potential small cap stocks for investing. So as you know, out of all stocks that are listed in a stock exchange, they are mainly categorized into three parts. Either they are large cap stocks or there are mid cap stocks or there are small cap stocks. So if we consider Bombay Stock Exchange as our reference, then in Bombay Stock Exchange, there are about 5,000 stocks and approximately about 4,000 stocks out of all those 5,000 stocks fall into the small cap space. So it is only logical and intuitive as an investor for us that we should consider the alternative of small cap stock investing. So in this video, we will talk about that if an investor wants to invest in a small cap stocks, what strategy he can use to identify potential small cap stocks. Now, a disclaimer, these small cap stocks has a potential to grow very fast in times to come. But it, these very small cap stocks has a tendency to fall very fast during bad times and what I mean by bad times the bad times can be like events like 2008-2009 market crisis it can be uh, the market turmoil that uh, we saw during the Brexit crisis or we also saw very recently the COVID crisis so in all these examples of those times where market was troubled. So what happens when a market is troubled? When the market is troubled, the stocks tend to fall. We have seen that there are three types of stocks. Either they are grouped as large cap, mid cap or small cap stocks. So when there are problems in the market, when the market is foreseeing some potential problem, then all these stocks will fall the prices of all these type of stocks will fall but in those times in problem times the price fall of small cap stocks are always maximum as an investor if we want to invest in a small cap stocks we must also keep this in mind that the price volatility of these stocks will be very high in good times, they will jump a lot and in bad times, they will also fall by a very large margin. If now we can say that if we take reference as Sensex or Nifty 50 as our benchmark, if uh, I'm just giving this an ex as an example that if Nifty 50 falls by 10%, then probably these small cap stock bunch will fall by let's say 30 percent so this is the kind of volatility you can expect when you are investing in small cap stocks so this is the disclaimer this is the kind of expectation we should have from small cap stocks when we are thinking of investing in them so they have advantages in terms of price gain in long term but in small term, their volatility will be very, very high. And especially this volatility peaks when there are problems in the market. So with this disclaimer known to us, let's proceed to the next step that how to identify potential small cap stocks. So basically in this video, we will talk about how to identify individual stocks. But I know there are some investors who does not like to take so much risk of investing in small cap stocks. So what these type of investors can do, they can invest in small cap stocks through mutual funds. And in mutual funds, we have two type of options. Either we can invest through an index mutual fund or we can invest through an ETF exchange traded funds. So a index fund which invests in a small cap index pick that mutual fund 
pick that index fund and go on investing similarly there are also exchange traded funds which invests in uh, small cap stocks which small cap index so you can pick an etf and invest in these smaller stocks so these are for those investors who does not want to pick individual small cap stocks because yes they are risky so now we know that if we don't want to take a lot of risk we can invest in a mutual fund or in a exchange traded fund so for those investors who wants to invest directly in small cap stocks what is the potential for them just to give you an example if you have invested in a bsc small cap 250 index what is this index this is a index where 250 number stocks of small cap category are bunched together so this small cap 250 index how this index performed in the last 20 years in the last 20 years had you invested in this index it would have given you an averaged annualized returns of about 18 percent per annum what does 18 percent per annum means 20 years back suppose you invested around 5 lakh rupees today those 5 lakhs would have become 1.5 crores so this is the meaning of having an annualized returns of 18 percent per annum 20 years back you invested 5, 000, 5 lakh rupees and after 20 years you will get around 1.5 crores so this is the potential of investing in a small cap index compare this with the returns of nifty 50 index in the same time horizon in the last 20 years nifty 50 index has given a return between 12 to 13 percent per annum and this small cap index is giving a return of 18 percent per annum so there is a difference and when you are investing for a very long time this difference of five six percent per annum returns makes a lot of difference in the final corpus it is not wrong for we retail investors to consider investing in small cap stocks because it has potential to give high returns for sure so if you are not somebody who wants to take a lot of risk you can invest in an index because index itself gives a return of around 18 percent per annum but if you want to take more risk if you are ready to take more risk the potential of returns that you can get from small cap stocks is huge around three years back i uh, bought a stock from a small cap space it was an engineering stock and within these three years the stock has grown in just these three years it has grown by about 200 percent three times so the potential of investing in a small cap stocks directly is really good but the problem is out of these all small cap stocks majority of stocks are of low quality so for we as an investor we should know how to identify potential small cap stocks and then we should go deep into investing in them so how i pick my small cap stocks this is what we will discuss today the idea of picking good stocks applies to all kind of stocks whether you are picking a large cap stock or whether you are picking a penny stock the philosophy will be same for all the stocks what is that philosophy as an investor there are two things that are most important to us first of all the company must be a profitable company we can debate on the degree of profitability that we need but on the basic level all stocks must be profitable and once we establish that it is a profitable company then we should identify its growth potential is the company growing fast enough or not so here comes the difference between a large cap stock mid cap stocks and a small cap stock a small cap stocks if it is a good company if it is a profitable company its potential to grow 
over time is very very large compared to the large cap stocks suppose we are considering a company like hdfc bank or we are considering a company like let's say infosys they have already matured it's not that they are not going to grow in future they will grow but compared to a small cap let's say uh, rbl bank it is a small cap stock in the banking space so the potential of rbl bank growing over time is much higher than the potential of the growth of hdfc bank so if rbl bank does good business manages its business in a better way in times to come the the growth potential of rbl bank will be much higher but of course they have to do business in a better way to grow faster than hdfc bank it's true for all the companies if they have to grow fast they have to execute their business in a good way so as an investor how to identify that which business is a good business which company is being operated in a right way so for me the number one criteria to look at if the company is good enough or not and this is especially true for small cap businesses is that i like to see how the company is utilizing its capital so when i say capital there are two types of capital for a company either they can source capital from the banks in terms of loans or they have capital from their shareholders that we call as equity so joining these two capital equity plus debt it becomes the total capital of the company so is this company using their total capital to generate sufficient profits to quantify this number if the capital is being used properly or not we can use two or three financial metrics either we can use return on equity or we can use return on capital employed or we can use return on invested capital all these three parameters a company for me if a company is generating a return on capital employed in excess of 20% it's good enough so in a small cap space i will consider a company generating more than 20% roce is a good company but if i am investing in a large cap company probably a slightly less than 20% will also satisfy but for a small cap company roc should be greater than 20% so this is parameter number 1 and once i see that a company is generating enough profits from its capital then the next step will be i will see the growth so how to quantify growth we will see the past numbers and see how fast the company has grown in the last 3 or 5 years so by seeing the past growth we will try to extrapolate that if the company is good enough to grow in the same rate in the future or not so here comes the benefit of analyzing the profitability of the company a company which is profitable especially i'm talking about the company in the small cap space a company in the small cap space which is profitable and which has grown at a decent rate in the past those kind of companies are most likely to maintain their rate of growth in the coming years what i will do now i will try to see mainly four parameters of the company first of all i will see the revenue Uh, how fast the revenue has grown in the past then i will see the ebitda of the company how fast the ebitda of the company has grown in the past then we will uh, look at the earning per share eps growth the eps growth should also grow at a decent rate and especially for a small cap stock i will consider a filter of 15% per annum minimum in the last 5 10 years this small cap stock should have grown their eps at a rate of more than 15% per annum and finally i will also look at the company's net worth 
all these profits that the company is generating whether it is getting transferred to the balance sheet and in the balance sheet what is the indicator that says that uh, these profits are getting uh, transferred there it's the net worth so we will see if the net worth of the company is has grown at a decent rate in the past so once you check all these four parameters the next you can go into the cash flow statement and you can also check if the cash flow from operations of the company is growing or not for me for a small cap stock a net cash flow from operations growth at a rate of 10 percent per annum is a decent growth number if you have to invest in a small cap stock check its profitability in terms of roce roic and roe if these numbers are big enough i have given you that number of this quantum of 20 percent per annum it should be that and then when you have established that the company is utilizing its capital in a profitable way take the next step see if the company has grown its revenues profits net worth and cash flows at a sufficient rate or not so these two come these two parameters the growth and capital use in a profitable way these two will highlight those companies which are potential small cap stocks so make a list of these stocks and these list of stocks are those stocks which are worth looking at for investing so make a list of these stocks give a target price suppose a stock today is trading at 100 rupees so give a target your target that if this price corrects by another 10 15 percent then i will go ahead and buy there are more ways to identify small cap stocks we also have a product called stock engine in the stock engine you will find a, a stock theme called penny stock theme and uh, there in the penny stocks theme uh, we have identified few stocks that have scored a very good overall score and a good gmr score in our algorithm there you will get a ready list of potential small cap stocks the intrinsic value of these stocks are also mentioned so you can compare the intrinsic value that we have estimated versus the current price so the way of investing is when a stock is trading at a discount to its intrinsic value that is the time to invest so we have done our calculation of estimating the intrinsic value of these uh, small cap penny stocks to make the process of uh, uh, stock identification easy you can check this list you can pick the stocks from this list and do your own fundamental analysis before investing so i hope you have liked this video about uh, the way to identify potential small cap stocks so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my youtube channel